Veolia, the French corporation which oversees Veolia Environmental, is highly controversial. Veolia has built trains to connect settlements on Palestinian land and has stolen water resources. It is recognized to be one of the primary corporations to profit and participate in Israel's crimes. Globally, Veolia has a record of pollution and violating the right of workers to organize unions. When the Organization for Prohibition of Chemical Weapons announced that Veolia Environmental would be contracted to destroy Syria's chemical weapons, Sharon Eolas, who leads efforts to boycott Veolia in New York City, was very upset. As a multinational corporation, they've been known for stealing resources, for doing underhanded business around the world. And not to be forgotten is the Palestinian people who have suffered much under what Veolia has done. Between 34 and $41 million will be paid to corporations contracted to destroy Syria's chemical weapons, including the controversial Veolia Corporation. Eolas described how recently the school bus drivers in Boston were targeted by Veolia, who is seeking to destroy their union contract. First of all, I'm looking at the workers, the bus uh, drivers in Boston, Massachusetts, which, who had a contract. Veolia came in and started tearing that contract apart, taking away benefits that had been won through negotiations. And when they had lied and agreed, they would carry out that contract and then literally ripped it apart. They did the same with BART on the West Coast. Though many are outraged that the OPCW has awarded Veolia such large contracts, activists say they will continue to pressure municipalities around the country to terminate their contracts with Veolia unless its practices greatly change. Already, activist campaigns have caused Veolia to lose many key contracts throughout Europe and the United States. Caleb Maupin, Press TV, New York.